All right, so there's a new one, uh, Defensio.io. Uh, I don't know much about it. It's kind of like a fork of Midnight. Um, we've installed it into Cellhasher to make it as easy as possible. To get it, you'll have to connect your devices, which, give me one second. Okay, so once you connect your devices and they show, make sure you connect them to Wi-Fi. You can do that in the network tab. Um, yeah. So you're going to go into uh, settings first. You're going to want to make sure that you have uh, Python installed and then verify that. Make sure it's set as your environment variable path. Um, ADB you will also need. You can download them. Everything you need you can download here. The only two you really need are ADB exe and then the Python path and then screen copy will help uh, for mirroring screens which you'll probably want. Um, yeah, go into minor. You're going to create a minor type. Um, to create a minor type, we actually you actually don't have to. Uh, you can import official ones, which we have added Defensio to that. So you'll just hit that button. It'll import this. Uh, you can check what is actually being ran, so you can see how things are actually running. Um, it does need Python, so that's why you need to install it. From there, go to Flight Sheets. You're going to create or copy this type of flight sheet. Just hit Add New Flight Sheet, and you'll Put the stuff in. Uh, this is what you'll do, and I'll explain this. There's no wallet address, right? Because your wallet gets created and generated inside of your thing. So don't delete Termux or the wallet or anything like that inside the phone. Termux is the app that will run Linux on. Um, you don't need a password pool. Uh, specify the threads that's based on your phone. Um, this first number here in additional flags is the number of wallets to create and then this is a batch number batching is something else slightly different um, the best way to explain it is you have 10 lottery tickets versus a normal batch of one lottery ticket and 100 wallets to submit solutions for so yeah um, nonetheless this can be 10 wallets if you want if the challenges are getting more difficult and you're just getting in a little later Maybe you only want to generate 50 wallets so your thing starts up easier and batching at 5 instead of 10. Um, but yeah, you can then set the minor type. So you have to set the minor type to Defensio. Uh, quite easy. You can update that. Then assignments. You'll go ahead and you'll add a new bulk sheet. So you'll type in Defensio or whatever you want to do. Um, and then you'll select the flight sheet that you just made, which happens to be this. So I have made one. Um, I can go and I can edit it. Uh, here's the name. I selected that flight sheet. And then here's all the devices that I currently um, have in here, uh, which should uh, be the devices that you have here. You can just drag them. So if I go back to minor, um, they'll be here. You can just drag something like this, like a drag and drop. If you already have a bulk sheet, you can select all, hold control, and you can drag them over to one. Uh, pretty nice way to, you know, bulk things around. So yeah, nonetheless, uh, that is what that is what we've been doing. So Defensio, we're going to go ahead and first you're going to need to install Termux. You can click this button. If it's not working, it's because Google Play has Play Protect on. Uh, you can install it manually on your phone if you want. Go to fdroid.com uh, and find Termux and install it on your phone that way. If this doesn't work, that's because Play Protect's on. Um, some phones block it, but Termux is just an app that we use to run Linux. So you'll install Termux, you'll wait for that. You'll end up seeing a green check mark. This green check mark means that Termux is actually installed. So once that's installed on all the devices that you're going to be running this on, you can then go and install the miner. And you have to run this before you run the miner. This installs uh, Defensio miner. So we're going to hit install. It's starting this installation process. We're gonna go and watch this. This is actually the first time I'm trying this on a group of devices, so we'll see what happens. Uh, that device didn't have internet, so I just kind of closed it because obviously it wasn't gonna work. So it's going through. This is the app, Termux. It's a Linux uh, distribution for Android, essentially. You can run Ubuntu in it if you want, Debian, Debian, depending on how you pronounce it. But yeah, this is running. Um, sometimes you might run into this. So command not found. Uh, this because you don't have Wi-Fi. 
So if something's not running, check and see if you have Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi on this device, so we'll just skip that for now. Now this might vary depending on your internet connection uh, and how it goes about it. It's installing dependencies and it's going to pull the already compiled miner, uh, which is great. Um, if the miner updates, I'll try to have updates pushed for it as fast as I possibly can. Um, who knows how that will work. But I'm doing trying to do this live so you can see how quick this actually is. These are multiple phones, like 18 phones we got running right here. So this is uh, quite awesome. So it's installing, extracting dependencies. Now you will get this. This is from Node.js, running Node.js on phones. Uh, it's not always crazy. It doesn't always work first try. But even if you see this, uh, it will work. So don't have to come into the chat and ask, hey, I see this. It's not working. Uh, that's Node.js just telling you. You can try to fix them if you want. Um, but if you see Defensio, minor installation complete, maybe it's Defense IO, maybe that's how they're saying it, uh, then you're good. So installing dependencies, installation complete. So just wait for everything to complete and then we can run the minor. I know we're about seven minutes in. I'm trying to get through this quick. So it only took a few minutes really to install on all of these devices, which is you know, quite great. Yeah, we are installed on all the devices. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just uh, stop all of these real quick, go to minor, and now we can simply hit run. Uh, run will push your updated flight sheet. So if you wanna change your, um, if you wanna change your threads that you're using, you can just change them right there. The wallets, you can change them right there. I wouldn't recommend changing the wallets uh, once you have it set and generated. Just let it go. It's only for like initial starting. Uh, but let's check in on this. We just ran them. So let's see how the process is going. It doesn't have internet. Of course, it's not going to work. So it looks like it's saving wallets, and now it's about to start registering wallets on their API. If you're getting errors, doesn't this doesn't have Wi-Fi, once again. But if you're getting errors while registering wallets, uh, which you can see registered wallet one, it's going to take a bit to do 100. So I'll pause it and come back, or if I see an error, I'll come back. It might be their API, so it's not cell hasher or this miner, it would be the API, because this is API mining. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to pause this and I'll come back once all of these wallets generate. So this is a perfect example of an error that happened. We were almost to 100 wallets and it failed to register it on all of these. This is an API problem server didn't respond in time. So all you do is you would just run it again, which that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just check if their server's online quick before I run it again. Um, it just picked up and started. I didn't change anything. Uh, so it, it got to them. It actually did all the wallets. So I didn't have to do anything. It just automatically went after the server kicked back on. So we're good to go. And you can see that it is, is now solving and we are mining defense IO. Defensio, however you want to say it, to find your wallets. I know it's going to be a big question that people ask. Um, if I stop this real quick, uh, you can click the control button and press C. Type in LS. Uh, let's CD into Defensio Miner. Uh, the settings.json does not hold your um, mnemonic, like what you think that just holds like threads and uh, worker things and other things like that. Um, so if you go into Defensio Miner, LS, it's going to be in CD Wallets, LS. And then you see wall.json. What you would do is you would type in nano wall.json. This would allow you to edit that file, or you can type in cat wall.json. And once you hit enter, it will show you all the mnemonics. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, um, yeah, Cell Hasher's got it. Thanks for watching.